everybody, welcome back to Kristen's Decor. Today we're gonna do another Valentine's craft. Um, I ordered some wooden hearts and XOXOs. So I will do a few different projects. I just wanna quickly show you what I purchased and where you can buy it from. And then we'll get um, started. So I ordered this off Target.com. And these are the wooden hearts and they come with um, six different paints and a paintbrush, but you can use your own paint. Um, this was only five dollars, so I thought it was pretty cute. So my plan is to create this and then I'm going to add some uh, flowers to it to make it really pop. I got um, the wooden flowers. This one with the hangers from the dollar store. Um, I got two of these and then on Target.com, they had a six pack, and these are a little thicker and more sturdy, and this is $15 for six of them. So what my thing is I wanna do is paint this, I'm gonna do one red and one pink, and then I'm gonna attach a mason jar on it, and then I'm gonna add some flowers into it. So you could hang it on your wall for decor, and you can change the flowers throughout the season, and it will look really pretty. We went to Walmart and we got this pack of stencils. And it's a 41 pack and this was $9.98. So you can pop them out and you can paint them on any of your hearts and reuse them. So it was a great value. And then the last thing I got was these cute little glitter clothespins because I'm gonna make another one where I'm gonna paint it different colors and I'm gonna hang a string and then add these little clothespins and then you could put a picture of your kids or your husband or your family and you could change it up. I thought it was a really cute picture frame idea. So, um, and then last is your Apple Battle paints, which I love, they're only 50 cents and you can get them at Walmart or any craft store. And then the bushel of roses. And then I found a nice one that's already stained, this wooden one. And this was $2.50 at Walmart. So I'm gonna do a stencil on this one as well. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so first I am gonna paint um, this, this particular heart pink and I'm gonna do the other one silver. And then I'm gonna let dry and then I'm gonna add the mason jar onto it and the roses. suck at stencils as I just learned to mess up my heart that I have to wait till it dries to fix. So I've asked Chris to save me and do the next wooden plank stencil with our love sign because he is more patient and very articulate and he will get this done right. So I won't have another disaster with my stencils. I think spray paint is probably your better option when you're doing stenciling, not paint. So I'm letting him take over and this line is gonna come out really nice.
make this as a little momentum for how, um, for the holidays for Valentine's Day. So I will have their handprint for this year on my heart. Now we are gonna do the little wooden XOXO kit. Um, I'm gonna do the X's red, and then I'm gonna tape off and try to do some stripes for the um, O's. dried. Um, I had glued a piece of string that we're going to use to hang our picture. I also put one up here so we want to hang it on the wall. Um, or if you want to stand it up against something. Whatever your preference is. Yep. So we got these little clothespins. There's, There's gold and silver. Okay. And we are going to hang our picture on it. I'll show you how this is going to look. So, um, that's my finished product. This is a picture of me and my honey bun. So, again, you can add one picture or two pictures. And we have little charms up here. And then I just hung the string. I glued it on the back. That way you can hang it on the wall. Uh, next is we're going to finish um, up our XO. Kind of stuck to the paper. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so. We're gonna use the little roses and we're gonna put them. They have a little sticky, they're felt, these are at the dollar store, but that sticky thing always falls off. So I'm just gonna use a piece of glue and I'm gonna stick that to the corner of the little X. For these, we're just gonna place some hot stickers on the O's. Okay, we have that one done. Yep, put the big one right on the purple. Make sure it's in evenly. And then put the small one on the pink. Make sure it's in the middle, okay? Press it all the way down, all around. Here is our finished little project that only costs five dollars. <laughs> so 
the last part, um, we're using a piece of scrap paper. And that costs about 25 cents. Just trace your heart and you're gonna get Mod Podge. Paint your whole wooden heart with the Mod Podge. So we're gonna quickly spray paint this uh, wooden arrow we got white. This is a lot faster. And we're gonna add that to the heart we just did with the scrap paper and Mod Podge. So we'll just get a piece of cardboard and spray paint and get it done really quickly and even layer. wooden arrow is dry from the spray paint so I'm going to quickly put the glue on this and we're going to attach it to our part. So, I'm just going to make sure it's a little, oh, I brought my finger, ouch, sideways and kind of down. Just add a string to the back and we can hang this up on the wall as well. I hope you guys all like the wooden heart projects I did. Some I had a little issues with and I just tried to wing it and fix it. I hope you liked it. Um, again, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification button so that you can see when I make another video. Thank you for watching and again, check me out. Have a great day.